Was geht ab? This video is for immigrants moving to the US, UK, Europe, Australia and everywhere. How to earn six figure salary in Germany? Mm -hmm. You see, it's possible to earn six figure in Germany. But when you're self employed, <laughs> you can never earn six figure salary in Germany as long as you are immigrant. I'm talking about people who moved to Germany when they, they, they are 21, 25, 30, 45. You will never earn six figure salary in Germany because most of the immigrants they earn roughly 20,000, uh, not 20,000, 20,000, not 20,000. 2,000 euro to 5,000 euro around there. <clears throat> 3,000 nurse, and you have overworked like 100 percent. You've worked 100 percent. You've done part-time job. Now you can earn like 4,000, 5,000. Yeah. <laughs> so it's impossible earning six-figure salary in Germany as long as you're employed. But you can earn it as long as you are in tech business. Like my friend is a Nigerian gun. The, the, the mom is a Ghanaian and the dad is a, a Nigerian. So he's living in, in Germany since he was 21, he's now 45. He has like a, a whole setup in the house, microphone, earphones, like three desktops in the house. I don't know what he does, but he earns roughly like 10,000 euro per month and so on. Another thing in Germany, once you earn like 10,000 euro in Germany and you're not working, this money did not come from your employer. <laughs> like you have an account in Germany and then all of a sudden it has like 10,000 euro in one month like BAP! <laughs> they, <laughs> they'll freeze it. They'll ask you, where did you get this uh, amount? Where did you get it from? Are you doing scamming? Are you doing this and this? So the question they will ask you, they will even involve the policeman. Go uh, to the police and give statement where you got this kind of money in your bank account because this is not normal. Even uh, the Germans themselves, they don't have this kind of money in their account at once, like, boom. yeah? <laughs> like in the US, having like a $10,000 uh, in your account is normal, yeah? Because people, they go straight shift, you have like three jobs. You work overtime, you work over the weekend. In Germany, we have rules. And rule number one, you can only work one main job and one part-time job. And this part-time job, you can never go beyond 520 euro per month. Doesn't make sense. Now imagine, you are a migrant, you are earning like, let's say 1,800 every month. And then you have like a part-time job, you are earning like a 520 euro. <laughs> Aye, it's not even enough money, yeah? Because you have to pay bills, you have to pay uh, your everything. You have to, to pay your black tax back home. So you'll be earning roughly 2,000, 3,000. As long as you have moved in, in Germany as a foreigner, as an immigrant, like not the person who was born in Germany because it's the difference between someone who moved to Germany and someone who was born in Germany. They start working at 16, 17, they have like experience, you go to university, clear university, the more you work, the more you earn. Like, you can stay at one place of work for like 10 years and your salary will be like someone who has graduated with a PhD or master's degree, yeah? <laughs> That's the good thing about German, like, your salary will be same with someone who has gone to school to study about something, but earning like 5,000 euro in Germany, it's next to impossible. If you have a friend in Germany, ask them, how much roughly do you make per month? Others, they won't even tell you, yeah? They will tell you that, yeah, life is good because of this. Life is good in Germany because we have a kindergeld. Uh, once you, you, you lose your job, you have like a Arbeit Amt or something like that. We have a, a, something will be there to help you like to move around. So when you're Arbeit loss, Arbeit loss means you are jobless. You can go to job center and job center can help you for some few months or they are looking another job for you. Yeah? So that's, now that's good thing about German. You can never be homeless. As long as you have a valid re a reason why did your job end? Have you worked in Germany for 12 months? Uh, again, to offer Arbeit, 
you have to work uh, in Germany for 12 months, like with no break, like January to December. And then, let's say it's three years, four years, five years, you've worked in Germany, like you're working. You work for 11 months, go holiday, come back, work, they can help you. But if you have not worked in Germany for 12 months, they cannot help you. We have job center. Job center, you, you can go uh, register with job center if you have a valid reason. Like, uh, let's say Coca-Cola company, they lay off some staffs like, we don't need you because we are more. So they'll give you like one month notice or three month notice, like they'll lay you off. And then be between those three months, you, you, you haven't found a nice job that fits you. Now you can register with job center and now they can be helping you to pay rent and your bills and then it's not much but it helps yeah as long as you are jobless that's a good thing about german now a lot of people they prefer germany because especially women they prefer germany because of a uh, kindergeld it's not even enough money a uh, job center if and, and, and then maternity maternity leave is good for women but for a man for me, I want to work. I want to work like from morning to afternoon. If I need break, I can take a break over the weekend. But in Germany, they have regulation like you cannot work beyond this and this. Even you cannot work beyond uh, eight hours per day. Because there's something called Aoka. Aoka is like a shift or Sha for Kenya. Now this shift, they control uh, the work you are doing. Because they know if you overwork yourself, you have back back problem and you have to go to the hospital with the insurance and the insurance will pay. So they, they are saving their money. That's why they'll tell you you'll be only working for eight hours or seven hours per day, per week, that five hours or 40, 40 hours per week. Problem with German is that, but earning more than 10,000 euro per month, no. Unless you are an influencer, you're influencing like something, but in influencing jobs, they give their own people like People of the alphabet, you find that even Coca-Cola is being advertised by someone from the from my gender, but they want to be the other gender. I wonder, I don't want to say it. So you find that those are the guys who be advertising a lot of stuff on TV. You find that someone is a man, woman, they are advertising like studs, they are advertising the stuff on TV. And mostly they are pushing the agenda. So you wouldn't get these uh pushing brands easily is for those guys yeah they even have their pride month every i don't know october or november i don't know so uh earning like 10,000 six figure salary in germany is next to impossible forget about it forget about it unless you are self-employed you are doing your own stuff at home you are doing this and this open your mind once you open your mind uh you can be working for paying bills and whatever you come back home you go online, you do your own stuff, remote task, conning people here and there. <laughs> I don't know what, what these guys do online. People are, are doing all stuff of things online to get money. So you'll find that once you do all, all, all uh, those stuff online, you'll get some money. And this money, they are controlled by uh, banks. You cannot go beyond a, a certain amount of money and they know you're working this kind of work. So you cannot be getting a lot of money in your account and you're working on this thing and this thing and this company and this company <laughs> so guys i'll see you on the next video so learn, learn your language a b2 b1 certificate b2 certificate and come to germany and work yeah for me i'll see you in the next video bye bye